Are you like me and you love seeing what other people are using in their homeschools? Do you enjoy looking at curriculum and curriculum flip-throughs? I am going to show you our math curriculum for the 2024-2025 school year for my fifth grader. And I will also be showing you what I'm going to be using for kind of a taught school preschool with my three-year-old. Hi everyone, welcome to our homeschool table. My name is Gerilyn. I am a mom of three kids, ages nine, three, and nine months old. First, I want to say thank you to Davine from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool for hosting a collaboration today where we will be sharing our math curriculum picks for the 2024-2025 school year. So you'll definitely want to check out the playlist linked below in the description box to see what everyone else is doing and what they have chosen for this coming school year. I will have a 10 year old daughter who will be in fifth grade next year and I will have a three year old son. We will kind of see how everything goes in the next few months to see if he's interested in school things. Um, but so far he is definitely interested in math and anytime my daughter is doing her math, he wants to do math too. And I will show you what he likes to play with um, while we are doing math. First, we are going to start with my son's preschool math toys. Um, and so I will show you what I have for him. Uh, the first thing that we have are some numbers zero to 25 flashcards. Now I will only be using numbers one through five at the beginning of the school year. And then we also have some colors and shapes flashcards. And I really like these flashcards because they have the numeral on one side and then they have a quantity of things on the other side. So one turtle, two umbrellas, three shoes, four cars, and five foxes. So he will um, be able to not only recognize the number, but also be able to count how many of that object are on the cards. And then with the colors and shapes flashcards, we will be working on learning colors and shapes. Brighter Child is the company. Um, these came from Amazon a couple years ago, but these, Hello. These have multiple um, shapes in every color. So you can talk about the different shapes and the different colors. And they're very thick and kind of a laminated cardstock. So they're very durable. And I foresee us playing games with them and things like that. So he will be happy to start using those. The next thing I have are rainbow pebbles and these are by EDX Education. And I actually got these from a friend a couple years ago. It comes with these little pebbles and each color has six pebbles and you can stack them. They come with little cards where you can build different things, which are really fun. And there's 40 of them, I believe. So they, they increase with complexity. So he will enjoy playing with those. Right now, what he considers doing math is this little box that I've put together for him where it has our box of, it has our box of counting bears and different color bowls where he can sort the different color counting bears. And then I also have a set of tweezers. I'm missing the red pair of tweezers right now because they get used a lot here at our house, but um, he can pick 
the bears up with the tweezers, working on some fine motor skills there as well. And he really enjoys playing with counting bears. My little baby, who will be one in a couple months, she will be working on shapes and putting the different shapes inside of the shape sorter. So that is all that I have for my three-year-old to do. Oh, one more thing that I'm using for my preschool uh, three-year-old son is our calendar. And I will put a picture up over here to show you what our calendar looks like, but it's just a little pocket chart calendar. So what comes with the calendar that I have posted in the picture are these little number cards. So you put a new one in every day, or you can put the whole calendar up at once and then use this little card that says today on it. Mine's getting a little beaten up. I might have to make a new one, but this just goes in the slot with the number. And then it also comes with some little holiday cards. So those will be fun to have on the calendar as well. My daughter always really liked doing calendar. So now let's talk about my daughter who will be going into fifth grade this coming year. We are going to be using Matthew C. Epsilon this coming year, and that is the fractions book. And this comes with a teacher's manual, a DVD to watch the lessons. And this year we will have an extra fraction overlay kit. And then it also comes with a student workbook. I don't have the student workbook quite yet, so uh, that is something I still need to purchase for next year. So it's going to start out with fraction of a number, fraction of one, adding and subtracting fractions, equivalent fractions, addition and subtraction, the rule of four, comparing fractions, adding multiple fractions, multiplying fractions, dividing fractions, finding common factors and divisibility, simplifying fractions, linear measure, mixed numbers and improper fractions, linear measure with mixed numbers, addition and subtraction of mixed numbers, and sub, um, adding mixed numbers, subtracting mixed numbers, dividing fractions, solving for an unknown, multiplying mixed numbers, area and circumference of a circle, solving for an unknown, fractions to decimals to percents, more solving for an unknown, finding the area of a trapezoid. So you can kind of get an idea that even though fractions is the main point, there are a few extra things that are sprinkled throughout, like um, the area of a circumference of a circle, area of a trapezoid, which are things that we have done already this year in division as well. Let's look at the fraction overlay kit. Okay, so this is halves and thirds. So this has the overlays and these little cards slip behind so that you can see one half. And then this one is for thirds, and so you could show one-third, or you could show two-thirds, or you could show one-third plus two-thirds equals one whole, or three-thirds. So these are just neat manipulatives to be able to see, hence the name Matthew C. This has fourths and fifths. Sixths, eighths, tenths, sixteenths, and units, and then other resources. Here is a whole. And um, there's also some little cards in the back. Comparing fractions, the rule of four, units of length, and then a little instruction on what's in this kit and how to use it. 
If you've purchased the digital pack with your curriculum, then you have access to the online digital toolbox. It is really helpful to be able to print out worksheets for your child that you can customize based on what lesson you need to practice from. That can be a really good resource if you need any extra review. Thank you so much for coming today to see what we are going to be doing for math this coming year. And thank you again to Daveen from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool uh, for hosting today's collaboration. Don't forget to check out the playlist linked below in the description box to see what everyone else is doing. Thank you for watching today and we'll see you next time.